right, guys, I'm really excited to show you this deck profile. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! This deck is about as anti-meta as it gets. <laughs> And this deck is unlike any other evil swarms that you have ever seen. So let's go ahead and get to it. Look at no no! It's King Brew Pair! So starting off with the monsters, of course you are playing three evil swarm caster because this is probably the best monster in the deck. This lets you double normal summon. And of course he has 1750 attack, which is not that bad. And then for this build, we are playing three evil swarm thunderbirds. And the reason behind this is because we are playing three of the new drowning mirror force and being able to tap out Thunderbird and make the Drowning Mirror Force live is so good. Not to mention Torrential Tribute, but every Evil Swarm player should know that by now. No way. And to round up the monsters, since these are the only six Evil Swarms you play besides Kirkion, I'm only playing two Kirkion. Say what? Three Kirkion just really ended up clogging for me in this build because of the low monster count, of course because of Card of Demise. And moving on to the spells, speaking of Card of Demise, we are playing three Card of Demise. This card just lets you set so many traps, you can go plus two sometimes, this card is just ridiculously good, and because of Caster being able to let you double normal summon, if you draw two evil swarms, you can just go normal normal. You won't be able to make Ophion, but this deck can do so much more than just make Ophion, and you guys might think I'm completely insane for this. <laughs> But being able to play so many traps and completely stun out your opponent and just poke at them with like Thunderbird is actually really good. It's actually the deck's main win condition. This deck does not have to make Ophion. Now, making Ophion is really nice against, you know, Cosmos, but it's actually not required to win. You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> and moving on to the rest of the spells, we're playing three Pot of Duality to uh, pair up with Card of Demise. It's actually really, really good. And I am playing two copies of Instant Fusion, only one node but I am playing the Dark Flare Dragon because I kept like having this brick and this deck is already slow enough as it is we could not have any bricks like so I am playing two Insta Fusion targets for two Insta Fusions and for the last two spells we're playing one copy of Rhoda of course to be able to search out that caster and for the last spell we are playing one copy of Infestation Pandemic I find that one copy is actually perfect even though Stormforth is running around you play so many traps in this deck you actually don't need more than one and of course since this this is an anti-meta deck. We are playing so many traps. It's a trap. We are going to start things off with the Solemn Brigade, of course, the three strike, and then the one Solemn Warning. And then we're playing the Trap Hole Brigade, which is the three time space trap hole, the one bottomless trap hole, and the two chaos trap hole, which is actually incredibly good. I wish this came in foil. This is the only card in the whole deck that doesn't come in foil. In the and we're playing the Mirror Force Brigade next, which is the three Drowning Mirror Force. And you guys are going to question me, but I am playing three Storming Mirror Force. I just couldn't find any play besides this card and Utopia the Lightning to really get a Cosmo ship off the board once it was already on there. Well, this and, of course, the Drowning Mirror Force. Everything else just stops them from being summoned. It doesn't really get them off the board very well. And this deck pays a lot of life points, so being able to keep your opponent off your life points is really good. And to help keep Drowning Mirror Force live, we are playing two infants station infection so you can go play hide and go seek in the deck and keep this live it's so good and of course this lets you search any evil swarm and for the one ups we're playing one torrential tribute one soul drain one macro cosmos and one vanity's emptiness i don't want to live on this planet anymore and moving on to the extra deck of course we are playing two ophion there's no need for more than two in this deck but ophion is still really good against cosmos this card will always be a decent card it searches its own protection and is a walking flood Gate. And then I'm playing one Bahamut, of course, and then I'm playing one Master Key Beetle to be able to Vanity Key Beetle, or um, when I side deck against Monarchs, I can also go Mask of Restrict Key Beetle Lock. And then I'm playing one copy of Rafflesia, of course, and then I'm playing the Utopia Brigade to be able to get over the Cosmo ships. And then, of course, the staples, one Diamond Direwolf, one Castell, one Dweller, one Cowboy, and then Noden for the Instant Fusion target. And the other Instant Fusion target, I'm just playing Darkfire Dragon because, I mean, why not? And for the last card in the extra deck, I am playing Stardust Dragon because I am siding Starlight Road because this deck loses, absolutely loses to Twin Twisters. No, God! So, moving on to the side deck, since pendulums are still a thing, I am siding three anti-spell fragrance. This is probably the best floodgate against pendulums by far, along with Macrocosmos, which is pretty good, but anti-spell fragrance just doesn't let them play at all. And then the floodgate monarchs, I am playing three copies of Mask of Restrict, of course, and to floodgate Cosmos, I am playing three copies of Light Imprisoning Mirror. In the 
and I also find this pretty effective against Monarchs. And for the last traps, I'm playing three copies of Starlight Rogue. And for the last three cards on the side, I'm playing three MST just because this just gets rid of problems like, you know, a set Solemn Strike and everything because you have to have your plays go off and when you do have to XC summon to get around something that you have to make sure that it goes through. So that's why I'm playing Mystical Space Typhoon and you really don't want to pitch a card for Twin Twisters. So, you know, especially if they're going to chain that card that you snipe. So this is just more effective. Are we there yet? No! Are we there yet? No! All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this deck profile and that it didn't leave too bad of a taste in your mouth. <laughs> I know it plays a lot of traps and stuff, but this deck is really, really fun, and it's always really fun to play some anti-meta shenanigans. And Evil Swarms are just my favorite anti-meta deck, but you can also apply the Card of Demise, Pot of Duality idea to any anti-meta deck, including Cleave Forge, which some people have already been topping with. But anyways, guys, go ahead and tell me what you think about this deck profile down in the comment section. And as always, if you like this video, then dick slap that like button and subscribe. Mm.